Stomping grounds downtown LA, I love it. I mean, there's, there's probably like what three or four media outlets here, or something like that. Yeah, know? yeah, it's just yeah, you know, we're, we're we're playing it low key this time. Yeah, it's basic cable, right? <laughs> no, what do you think? I mean, you can see all the people all dressed up. You've been seeing them covered in blood for months. No, that actually, that's always like the weird thing about a cast and crew party is you're used to everybody in t-shirts and short pants and everything, and then all of a sudden the women get dressed up and you're like. Who the heck are you? I've been working with you for six months, who knew? Well, that's amazing, yes. In the first, I saved the world. In the second one, you know, it's Quentin, so I need some saving because it's Quentin's movie, of course. But they're both really amazing films. I mean, these two of the best directors around. Someone did say to me that they never laughed and dry heaved at the same moment. I think it's a perfect description. And you know, there's everyone saying, oh, there's two movies, is that too long? But it's actually shorter than one three hour movie that's in the theaters right now. And uh, you get two amazing directors for the price of one, and it's also infinitely better. At first, we were going to have it switched, depending on what city wanted to play, whatever they wanted, they could switch the order. But then after I did the opening theme song and put the Grindhouse title, mine seemed like a good way to open, and his freeze frame at the end of his seemed like a good way to close. So then we ended up deciding that's how we would do it. What do you think um, the Americanati? The what? The Americanati. Oh, I think they're going to just be excited that something new is being done. Actually, it's something old, but not everybody knows that. Only people who are old enough to remember the double feature era. To anybody else, it just seems like a really new idea, trying to make, uh, put more showmanship in the theatrical experience. And that's how it was before. Before there was just a single movie with commercials in front. They used to have a whole night at the movies program. And uh, with the fake trailers and uh, the two movies, it feels more like a circus or a carnival, a movie carnival or a ride. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's just a, it, it should be that kind of a night too. It's a little bit of a step back in time to a, a night where we used to just, we used to go on Friday nights or Saturday nights and hit the double bill and have a great time. Well, I've seen it a couple times with audiences and they, um, they're, they hoot and holler. I mean, they, they talk back to the screen, which is what what this is supposed to be. You know, it's an event night, and uh, uh, it's it, it's what we used to do in the theater. We go see these crazy movies, and about every ten minutes, you see something you you, you, you don't know if you're supposed to be watching or not. You know, but it's crazy fun. It's just fun. Nobody nobody in my family's seen it yet. I'm the only one, so they still have to come. Well, I think they'll have a. I think they'll have a good time, like the audience. I think they'll just, you know, hoot and holler and have a good time. If uh, there'll be a lot of turning away from the screen, but uh, but that's what you're supposed to do. Horrible, horrible, <laughs> absolutely horrible, <laughs> incorrigible, terrible man. <laughs> I've worked with lots of young actresses in my life. <laughs> Over my career, I've worked with, you know, young ones, old ones, and in between ones. They were great. They were really a lot of fun. They learned a lot from you. They're lying. <laughs>